Hey, Steve, um, I, I got something to tell you. What is it? Well, uh, this is going to be a new sidekick of the channel. He can't be your sidekick. Look how short he is. Y yeah, you're right, but he does have a lot of cool gimmicks. Show me one thing that he has that I don't. Cool. He turns into a jack-o'-lantern. Well, I guess he's useful for Halloween. Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have today is a pose video of the Massagrade F91 2.0. Now this is actually the first time I do a pose video of a Massagrade, so uh, I, I mean nothing really too different than the high grades, but just kind of a notable thing is, hey this is the first Massagrade pose video. So the rules are still the same, three poses, um, just gonna kind of, you know, go through the weaponry, so I'm not gonna keep it with just, you know, the same beam rifle, I'll, I'll kind of interchange the uh, the different weapons, so that way you can get a good idea of how you can go ahead and pose this kit uh, with all the accessories available to you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. Okay, and here is the pose video. Uh, so at the end of me, you know, actually going through the uh, the time lapse of me posing him, I had the legs kind of separated. Uh, but I thought, you know, it'd be way better to kind of like bend the waist and then kind of throw both legs to one side uh, to look like he's kind of you know doing a, um, a a horizontal dash. That that was just kind of the idea. And I remember I remember from the movie. Um, he was using just the one cannon um, a little bit more often than um, than using both of them at the same time. Uh, so I just thought like, hey, it'd be pretty cool to go ahead and have him, you know, using that weapon uh, while kind of dashing to the side. And then maybe like at the end of that, he'll kind of like, you know, use his beam rifle to, uh, you know, hit, hit down another enemy or one of those like little, uh, little saucers. Um, but overall, uh, I really do like this pose. I think it looks fine. I don't really uh, see any kind of issues with it. All right, and also I just want to go ahead and add you can use a regular action based stand uh, with this uh, it does not need to be like um, the the, uh, the lightning based stand I'm just using it just for you know simplicity because uh, I, I don't really want to keep taking it off and on on the uh, lightning stand but um, if you want to get more kind of like obscure kind of like uh, positioning with the F91 uh, I would definitely recommend you using a normal stand because with this the body is always going to be straight uh, kind of like ha as you can see right there um, but other than that uh, I, I do like this pose and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the second pose Okay, and here is the second pose. Uh, so basically what I want to do is utilize the beam sabers in some way, shape, or form. I was thinking about using both of them, but I decided uh, against that and just use the one beam saber and kind of like bend it up uh, to where like he's he's basically grabbing it from uh, the side skirt and then just slashing enemies as he's going. So um, that was kind of like the idea. I know he used the one beam saber quite often in the anime, well the, uh, the two hour movie, uh, but he also used both beam sabers, but to get that effect, because he was he really only used it like I think one time when he was fighting those little um, the disc and he was kind of like eliminating all of them within the colony. Um, there's no way I could have really did that effect, so I just went ahead and um, kept the one beam saber and just bent it up and kind of gave it a little slashing kind of style. Now there's a lot of different add-ons I would I would love to utilize for this. A lot of thing a lot of effect parts that I want to get. Um, but I don't have them in my collection right now, but uh, I, I figured this was you know good enough But eventually I want to go ahead and get some other effect parts to go ahead and simulate kind of the whoosh <laughs> Kind of style. I know it's um, it's not practical for beam sabers uh, But I think it still will have a pretty cool effect whenever you're adding these uh, Different little effect parts like wind and lightning and all that to it. So uh, overall, I think this is a, a I think it was a pretty cool looking pose and uh, honestly if I was keeping this um, on my shelf Actually, I might keep it like this on my shelf, who knows, but uh, overall, I think it's a pretty good pose. And um, let's go ahead and get on to the third pose.
Okay, and here is the third pose. Uh, so overall, I think it looks pretty fantastic. I uh, went ahead and used the beam launcher uh, as the primary weapon for this pose. Um, you know, I, I opened up the uh, back leg vents because, you know, I think it would be in its hyper mode. That's why I also turn on the uh, the, the, the internal lights. Um, so I just think this is a pretty cool looking pose. I do like, I mean, the beam launcher is probably one of my favorite weapons of this kit. And probably like my favorite like bazooka type weapon um, of all, I would say just all Universal Century. I can't really speak too much on like you know the different universes but uh, definitely for the UC this is like one of my favorite bazookas that it doesn't go overboard but it's not like underwhelming like the arc 78 like as iconic as that is um, I like something just a little bit more um, kind of I don't know stylish uh, but even though this is a beam style weapon whereas you know the, some of the bazookas and uh, the earlier UC is um, you know actual cartridges like like shells um, I, I just think that this looks pretty pretty awesome. Uh, the only problem I did have with this is that the toes don't bend downwards, so you don't really get um, kind of like it really dashing. I don't know that it like it doesn't look as good with the feet kind of just like normalized, like just kind of flat. Um, I would prefer if these feet pointed downwards, and it's kind of odd that in 2018 we don't have, um, well we have a massive grade that can point the toes like all the way up for some reason, but cannot point them down at all. I don't know if that's just some kind of design that could not have been implemented, but I really don't see uh, how it couldn't. Um, other than that, uh, I really do like this pose, and I think it's, it's I think it's a pretty cool one. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we have uh, any time for maybe a bonus pose. Okay, okay. do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it! Alright guys, let's go ahead and get on with the bonus pose. Alright guys, and here is the final pose. Uh, I mainly just wanted to use the VSBRs uh, together. Um, I just, I love the way they look, kind of just shooting out like that. Um, honestly, like I wish I had some kind of like gold lighting or something like that, because I would love to just light this thing up in, in like pure gold. Uh, I think that would be pretty badass. But overall, um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, you know, I really want to just give you a nice little pose uh, video, just to kind of showcase uh, exactly what this model can do and really how you can kind of push it now I know there's, a, there's a whole bunch of other guys out there that can definitely give this uh, kind of a better treatment as far as um, you know like super robot dynamic poses and everything but I kind of keep it more realistic like the poses that you are more than likely going to put on your shelf uh, vice things that are just gonna look good for photography uh, that would probably be a whole entire pose video um, if I had to do that um, but this is something I really enjoy. I, you know, I just want to go ahead and put this out there. Uh, so other than that, guys, definitely thanks for watching and stay tuned and stay, uh, stay subscribed uh, for the next videos to come out uh, either tomorrow or possibly the next day. Uh, but that's it for me. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.